Nicotinamide mononucleotide, better known as NMN, has been heralded as a promising molecule for helping a diverse array of chronic diseases because of its ability to raise an energy substance called NAD, better known as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And one of the chronic conditions NMN is said to help is aging and aging-related diseases. Now, there have been several intriguing studies involving laboratory animals, such as mice, which appear to show that NMN may have some anti-aging benefits, and there's also some research in younger people as well. But what about older folks? Can NMN supplements help people who are already older? In my desire to give you unbiased reviews on NAD booster supplements, let's look at this study published in 2022. Chronic nicotinamide mononucleotide supplementation improves blood nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide levels and alters muscle function in healthy older adults. Okay, big title notwithstanding, what's this investigation look like? Well, as you can see, it included 42 men in their early 70s, and the researchers basically gave these guys a battery of tests ranging from body fat and blood sugar levels to even how fast they could walk and what their grip strength was. So far, so good. Drilling down a little further, we see from the top of this chart that they initially started with 65 older guys, but then whittled it down to 42 who were included in this three-month-long investigation. Half the men in the study took 250 milligrams of NMN per day, and then the other half took placebo pills. Now, by six weeks into the study, however, 11 people in each group had to be removed, and so the results of this study are based on just 20 people. Now, a 50% dropout is a lot, but turns out there is a reason for this, and that is six weeks in, it was discovered that the supplement manufacturer, the ones that provided the NMN supplements, made a little bit of an error, and unfortunately, this resulted in the NMN group receiving the placebo pills and the placebo takers getting the NMN supplements. Okay, errors aside, mistakes do happen even in research. Okay, that aside, what happened in this investigation? Well, first thing is, there was no side effects reported in this investigation, and that's good. Most studies show that in healthy people, these NAD booster supplements don't appear to have any negative side effects. And so that's good. So what else do we have here? So the NMN supplements, well, they raised levels of NMN, that's good. And they also raised levels of NAD, that's good as well. And in addition to that, they also raised metabolites of NAD as well, such as nicotinic acid mononucleotide and nicotinic acid riboside. Interesting also is that the NMN supplements also raised nicotinamide riboside levels too. Nicotinamide riboside is another big player in the NAD booster supplement arena. And I'll link to my other videos on the research on nicotinamide riboside if you want to learn more about that. Okay, now moving on, we see that three months of NMN supplements did not improve insulin resistance, a marker of prediabetes, and it also didn't lower fat in either the spleen or the liver. Likewise, NMN supplements did not lower cholesterol levels or triglyceride levels, didn't lower inflammation or hemoglobin A1C levels either, although let's keep in mind again, these were generally healthy older men who did not have diabetes. Nicotinamide mononucleotide supplements also proved ineffective at improving memory, and while the supplements did tend to improve hearing in the right ear only, it was not significantly improved, which is not good news for those of us with some hearing loss. As we get older, we tend to lose muscle and grow weaker. This is a condition that's technically called sarcopenia. So could NMN build muscle in older adults and possibly help sarcopenia? Not according to this study. Three months of nicotinamide mononucleotide supplementation did not build muscle in these older men. However, it was also reported that NMN did promote significant improvements in gait speed. In other words, people walked a little faster 
and their grip strength improved as well. In other words, they could grip more forcefully with their left hand, although it was also pointed out in this investigation that the improvements were nominally significant, which if you look up the word nominally in the dictionary, it says in name only, so the results might not make a significant difference in the real world. So while I applaud the researchers who conducted this human clinical study, it also adds to the growing list of human clinical trials showing NAD booster supplements do not appear to live up to their hype. That said, what do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know. Until next time, I am Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.